Yes, I'm wearing shorts. I dolled up from the belly button up. I'm drinking Dr. Pepper if you guys are wondering. What is up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, welcome. I'm going to do a get to know me video. So I posted on Snapchat and Instagram for you guys to DM me questions. Let me just say that I got a lot. Honestly, I expected maybe 10 questions. I got like 50, so bear with me. This might turn into a long video. I'm gonna try to answer them as fast as I can. Side note, I don't have my glasses on or my contacts, so I'm literally filming this blind. If you see me squinting, it's because I'm trying to see if I'm still recording. Also, new background. Uh, I got a jewelry box here, and then sparkly lights behind me. And then an ugly chair, which I'm trying to hide with really, really freaking broad shoulders. So I wrote down all the questions on this notebook. I did sort them, between questions that just involve me and then questions that involve Curtis. He agreed to make a special appearance towards the end. First question, how old are you? I'm 19 years old. I will be 20 in August. Yes, that is hard to say because I don't want to grow up. What is your favorite color? My favorite color, honestly, I don't have one. If it was life or death situation, I would probably say blue. Favorite food? That's a good question. Honestly, I'd probably say hummus only because it's good with literally everything. It's good with vegetables, it's good with fruit, it's good with crackers and chips. Favorite drink? Definitely Dr. Pepper. Besides water, like if I had to choose between Dr. Pepper and water, I'd choose water, but yeah, it's a tie between Dr. Pepper and water. Favorite movie? Favorite movie would probably be The Hunger Games Saga. If not, then Fifty Shades of Grey. Favorite show? Hands down, 100%. SpongeBob SquarePants. Favorite holiday? Favorite holiday, easy. Thanksgiving because it's revolved around my two favorite things, food and family. How many pets do you have? I have six pets. Coco the Boston Terrier, Carmel the Rabbit, Charlie the Chameleon, Mango and Milkshake the Cats. I have a blue tick coonhound named Cash who lives in my mother's house because him and Coco don't get along. They're just too food aggressive. Do you have a favorite pet? I'm literally looking over to make sure like none of my pets are listening to me. Oh my God, I'm such a freak. Honestly, I'd probably have to say Coco only because I've had him the longest and I've just bonded with him longer. How many siblings do you have? I have two siblings. I have an older sister named Gina and an older brother named Gary. Where do you live? I live in Granger, Indiana. I am not going to get any more specific than that. What do you do for a living? Well, I would love to do YouTube for a living, but that takes years. In the meantime, I am a driver for DoorDash. Birthday, my birthday is August 26th, 1999. Favorite music slash song. I don't have a favorite type of music. I like, I like classic rock, I like hip hop, I love rap, I love country. And then song wise, I love music way too much to pick one. Do you have a special talent? A special talent. I would say the one weird special talent I have is, I don't know if you consider this a talent, but I would say that my special talent is that I can literally eat anything and everything and not gain a pound of weight. If you would consider that a talent. Do you have a mental illness? Good question, by the way. Mental illness. If you consider being OCD and like being like, a clean freak a mental illness then yeah I do have Tourette's I don't know if that's considered a mental illness it is mild when people hear the word Tourette's they're like so you get to yell out cuss words right and you get to like you get to hit people right like for no reason I'm like no no not not at all I have very very mild form of Tourette's I'm not gonna get into all of that in this video I do plan on making a totally separate video where I just talk about my Tourette's and how I deal with it and how I've lived with it do you have a bad habit I would say that a bad habit I have would be so I get mad really really easily but I guess a pro to that would be I forgive really really easily just apologize and I will literally forgive you okay I get mad really really easy but it's the same level of me getting mad for example if Curtis crashed my car totaled my car right I would be the this level of mad, right? But then if Curtis went and left the toilet seat up, I would be this level of mad, the same exact level of mad. It's like, it's zero to a hundred and there's like no in between for me. I'm either happy or I'm mad. Do you have a boyfriend? Yes, I have a boyfriend. What is your favorite app? My favorite app would probably be Snapchat. I'm on it every day. It's how I communicate with all my friends. I can post what's going on in my life in two seconds and not really have to think about it. Yeah, I love Snapchat. What is your most embarrassing memory? Oh my god. My most embarrassing memory 
would probably be, okay, I was in fifth grade. It was my first and only year playing basketball. Story time. So let's pretend this is a court, right? So this is where one basket is, this is where another basket is. My team had to score, say, this basket, and the other team had to score, obviously, this basket. I was over here with the ball, right? So somebody just passed me the ball from outside the line, and I was dribbling the ball to, obviously, the side of the court. And everybody was over here, right? My team, their team was all over here, defense, offense, whatever, we're all getting ready, right? While I was dribbling the ball, the ball literally hit my shoe, bounced up into the girl who was supposed to guard me, into her arms, literally like I passed it to her. Since all my team was over here and all their team was over here, it was literally only me. And I was like, wait. And I was like still looking like at my hand, where did the ball go? It was my first freaking game too. She literally just went up and made a basket. So embarrassing, so embarrassing. Cats or dogs. Before I got milkshake and mango, I would have said dogs in a heartbeat. Since I've gotten them, honestly, I don't know. I'm on the fence. I, I could not tell you. What is the best advice you have? The best advice I have is to just stop caring what people think. The sooner, the better. What's your biggest fear? Honestly, my biggest fear would probably be open water. Not like at a pool, not like at a hot tub, a pond, a lake, an ocean, a river, a stream, anything like that, I will not go in the water at all. If I cannot see, if the water isn't clear, I'm not going anywhere near it. Ugh. God, I hate, I hate open water so much. Tips for getting, tips for getting started. Tips for starting a YouTube channel. That was very badly worded. Tips for starting a YouTube channel. One, you have got to have confidence. If you're not confident with what you're posting and you're not proud of it, you're gonna hate it. And what is the point of posting something and editing and putting your time and effort into something if you're not 100% about it, you know? Another tip I have would be to stop caring what people think. There's always gonna be people that love you. There's always gonna be people that hate you. Tips for getting the courage to post your first video. Oh my God. It was mainly because of Curtis. Curtis has been my number one supporter since day one. And if it wasn't for him, honestly, I would not have this YouTube channel. I would not be filming videos. He gave me the confidence and the courage to do so. Not that he gave it to me. He just, he helped me find it. He kind of explained to me that do what you want. It's your life. Do you remember us being best friends? I remember who said that too. Honestly, no, I don't remember us being best friends. I do remember us being just friends though. I do. Oh my God. Story time. The strongest memory I have of us. So we were in third or fourth grade, I think. Okay, so anyway, I wore this green camo skirt to school. At recess, you walked by me and you were like, oh my God, I have that same skirt. And I was like, oh my God, that's so cool. So then the next day, I remember you wore it to school and all I was thinking was, oh my God, she looks so much better in it than I do. Fourth grade Dina, like what? Why was I thinking that? I just remember just being real, real salty about it. Where are you from? I grew up in South Bend slash Laporte because my parents are divorced and my dad lives in Laporte. My mom's in South Bend, so constantly back and forth between Laporte and South Bend. And then when I moved out, I moved up here to Granger. Is it weird to have both a rabbit and a chameleon? P.S. I love your videos and your vibe. Thank you. Is it weird to have both a rabbit and a chameleon? Not really, because it's normal for me. Honestly, I planned on doing a separate video of how I take care of my rabbit and then how I take care of my chameleon. I wouldn't say it's hard, but I wouldn't say it's easy either. And then this is the part of the video when Curtis comes in. So I have to go wake him up. I will be back. All right, so we got some relationship questions. Are you ready? Where slash how did you and Curtis meet? Snapchat. Where was our first date? South Bend Speedway. Oh my God, I remember that. That was so fun. Who's the better driver? Me. How long have you guys been together? Year and eight months. A year and eight months, he remembers. A year and eight months this month. What do you guys do that gets on each other's nerves? You first. Something that gets on my nerves that Curtis does is that I have to remind him to do everything, even though like that's his household chore. And then when he drives, he's just a really bad driver. Like he drives on people's asses and it's so annoying. For you, I guess your OCD is overwhelming sometimes. Your necessity to have things clean. But it's like a blessing and a gift though, right? I mean, you don't want to live in a pig's diet, do you? At the end of it, it's okay, but... Okay, no complaints there. Who cusses the most? Me. What's it like living together? Good. Pretty good. Kind of annoying, but pretty good. What cleaning duties does Curtis have? Cleaning duties that Curtis has. He is in charge of cleaning his own bathroom. We have our separate bathrooms because I am way too OCD to share a bathroom with him. He's in charge of taking out the trash. He's in charge of doing the dishes and putting away his laundry. Do you still hang out with your friends? On Xbox. 
No, Curtis really doesn't hang out with his friends. I tell him all the time to make plans and set something up, but he never does. I try to hang out with some of my friends at least once a month. Life does get pretty busy though. First impressions of each other. Honestly, my first impression of him was he's goofy. Just like the way he looked and the way he walked, I was like, he's goofy. What was your first impression of me? I liked you. Does Curtis have a hobby? Work out, play video games. You're not wrong. If you had kids, what would their names be? So we've actually already had this talk. For a girl, he really likes the name Aria, and I really like the name Kylie. For a boy, we both agreed on Mello. Hope you and Curtis are doing well. It's not really a question, but okay. Thanks. Is Curtis or you the better cook? Honestly, I'd say it depends. Yeah, it depends on what we're cooking. It depends on what we're cooking. Bye. If I didn't get to your question, I'm sorry. I just got so many. I answered as many as I could, honestly. I filled up two whole pages worth of questions. So if I didn't answer your question, again, I'm really, really sorry. That is it for this week's video. I hope you guys like it. Hope you guys like the new background. I will see you guys next week. Bye.